what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I am at home vlogging darling and I decided that I wanted to get online real quick and I mean real real quick and speak to you guys about Mr. Donald Trump as well as Eddie Gallagher. Today in particular we're going to be talking about how these two men are attached almost like that cold vid you know joint video anyhow today in particular we're going to be talking isis a national security breach research assassination and how all of this information is attached to the former president as well as a u.s veteran now i want you guys to know that um, eddie gallagher was actually in the u.s navy seals so this man is specialized he is trained and he knows what he's doing now in particular today i want to start off by talking about the head of state now i've given you the introduction on donald trump but i want you guys to know there's a joint person there with donald trump now if you guys don't know my story i want you guys to note that i actually breached the u.s constitution did i do it on purpose absolutely not i was defending myself against prohibited personnel practices and when i was doing that unfortunately a breaching the u.s constitution occurred now i want you guys to know the head of state the head of state is Donald Trump, in particular in this video. He was the 45th president of the United States, but there's a, also a head of state, which is the absolute sovereign, and that is Tanya Knowles, which is myself, y'all. Anyhow, I want to start off on this video, or in this video, I should say, asking you guys a question. The first question that I have for you is, do you know what ISIS stands for by definition? Now, if you don't know what ISIS stands for, it's time for you to do a little research. Get on that computer. Type that word up because you are going to be pleasantly surprised that ISIS actually has two meanings. It won't be the one. It's going to be the deuce. Now, the first thing that I want you guys to understand is ISIS stands for the queen of the throne. Are you aware of that? Did you know that? Well, if you didn't, it is time for you to pay attention. Also, I want you guys to note that ISIS is also the mother of fertility. Now, by contrast, I want you guys to know that ISIS is also, uh, it stands for Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Now, I want you guys to know that ISIS for Iraq and Syria is associated with violent ideology that calls or it's called itself a caliphate and claims religious authority over all Muslims. So one will be a queen, one will be a violent ideology, okay? And it's just really interesting to note that, you know, um, ISIS is attached to a queen and basically the queen is attached to terrorism. Anyhow, I want to go on and give you a statement of facts because we're going to be doing a lot of deep diving, especially on this Navy SEAL, um, Eddie Gallagher, as well as Mr. Donald Trump. So here's the statement of facts. Former Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher was found not guilty of the charge of murder in the death of a young Islamic State detainee in Iraq in 2017. Mr. Gallagher was alleged of fatally stabbing the ISIS inmate and then taking photos of a dead corpse and sending images to friends. Mm. This man, you know, is alleged of killing taking photos, and then sending those images to friends. Now, if that's not a thriller, you know, I don't know what it is. Anyhow, I'm going to go on with this story, okay? Now, it's, it goes on to say that statements were provided by witnesses attesting to the account of the egregious acts. But as the case went forward, statements were altered, and Eddie Gallagher crimes to include murder was a was dropped except for one charge now my question is if you have been following mr eddie gallagher you already know what time it is and i'm going to be asking do you know what charge was not dropped hmm well we're gonna get into that right now now, it goes on to say that the charge that was not dropped by prosecutors regarding Eddie Gallagher was the national security breach. 
Mm. This man was posing for a photo with a teenage ISIS uh, fighter and a fence carrying a maximum sentence of four months. He, he only got four months for posing or he's alleged of only, um, he's, oh, excuse me, he's alleged of only needing to serve four months for posing with a corpse, an ISIS fighter. That's all he had to do. Very much so giving interesting. Anyhow, I want to go on. Question. Are you aware that Eddie Gallagher alleged that the ISIS inmate life was disregarded as an experiment, i.e. medical treatment? Are you aware that this man disregarded this ISIS teenager's life and said, hell, he was only living for medical treatment? you know, conditions or treatment or to, he was just an, a test study, basically. That's the word I'm looking for. You know, did you know that? Hmm. Now, I want you guys to note that Eddie Gallagher's statement, we killed that guy. Our intention was to kill him. Everybody was on board. Gallagher said on the Apple podcast, it was to do medical scenarios on him until he died. Mm, very much so interesting. Please note, according to 28 CFR Part 512 Research Projects and Researchers, number uno, um, in all research projects, the rights, health, and human dignity of individuals involved must be respected. Number two, the project must have an adequate research design and contribute to the advancement of knowledge about corrections. Number three, the project must not involve medical experimentations, cosmetic research, or pharmaceutical testing. Number four, the project must minimize risk to subjects. Risk to subjects must be reasonable in relation to anticipated benefits. The selection of subjects within one institution must be equitable when applicable. Informed consent must be sought and documented. Hmm. Please note, Eddie Gallagher continued to violate the privacy of the inmate and research requirements according to law, and he, and he caused a national security breach. Did you know that? I want to go on and give you like a, like a timeline of things that Eddie Gallagher has done thus far that has caused this national security breach. Number one. Um, respect was not provided to the teen ISIS inmate uh, when he took a picture of a dead corpse. Number two, the ISIS teen was incarcerated and according to law, he was not allowed to undergo medical experiments. Number three, minimal treatments was not honored. The teenage child was murdered. Mm. Number four, Eddie Gallagher and former, excuse me, Eddie Gallagher informing social media that the teen's life was only fit for experiment until death did not meet the requirement for research. Breach of information by definition. A data breach is a security violation in which sensitive, protected, or confidential data is copied, transmitted, viewed, stolen, altered, or used by an individual um, unauthorized to do so. Other terms or unintentional information disclosure, data leak information, leakage, and data spill. So there's different terms that you can use for a breach of information. Like I said, unintentional information disclosure, data leak, information leakage, and data spill. Please note, Donald Trump provided clemency to Mr. Eddie Gallagher in 2019. Question, are you aware that Donald Trump is currently attached to a national security breach? Now, if you aren't aware, I want you guys to note that Donald Trump is um, attached to a presidential election and classified documents. 
Now, it goes on to say here that Mr. Trump is attached to indictment pending the outcome of the Department of Justice investigations. Are you aware that Donald Trump's indictment is attached to the monarchy? Are you aware of that? Hmm. If not, it is definitely time for you to start paying attention. But I want you guys to know here that the whole situation dealing with photographing of a corpse, Donald Trump and him releasing or pardoning or, you know, providing clemency to a um, Navy SEAL who has all this training, specialized skill, and still was taking pictures of a corpse, a child, is really a thriller. But, you know, it's good that he believes in second chances because everyone deserves it. Anyhow, with that being noted, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it took up a lot of my time trying to make this video and remake it and then getting some sleep and or doing these videos without sleep. I haven't done a video in a couple days, so I said, you know what? Fudge it. Today is the day. If you see me looking down as I was doing this video, oh, my bad friend, but the show must go on. So it is. Now, with that being noted, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if so, comment, like, and subscribe, darling. Please keep those notifications on. Let me know that you are online. Bye, guys.